In this video, we're taking on Beast Gamer JS, and one thing that's interesting about this opponent is that I actually battled him all the way back in February. This was actually a video on the channel back when I was content creating for Legends of Roria. So, um, anyways, he actually made a whole team, and uh, he was he was wanting to PvP here in Pokemon Brick Bronze Legend. So I do want to shout him out for his determination and whatnot. So, anyways, now on. On behalf of his team, he has Cloyster, Blaziken, and Mega Salamence. And Blaziken can be scary because it has the speed boost ability, and it can, it's an uber Pokemon for the reason. And Mega Salamence is also an uber. So anyways, I start with Medicham because um, a lot of people who run Cloyster like to leave with it. Um, I'm not entirely sure why, but it's just a, ha a habitual thing. So I went with Medicham because I could go for Fake Out and High Jump Kick on the Cloyster lead. And you know we outspeed it and completely invalidate the focus sash. So it's uh it's a pretty good strategy in my opinion. And you know getting Medicham in and Mega Waft is always a good thing. That's why I like um partly using it. So anyways, um the only thing that really did scare me is that he would predict this and switch out because he is after all a viewer of this channel, so he may know what to expect when it comes with Medi Mega Medicham. But Luckily for us, he stayed in and we were able to get out to fake out and take out his focus sash. And um, I think he may have stayed in because he may have not been expecting it. So he may have been expecting to live a, live a hit because of focus sash set up and then outspeed and knock out. But fortunately for him, that did not work out because of fake out. And we were able to take him out with our high jump kick, which was excellent. So next up, he sends out his Salamence. And I will admit, I did get a bit greedy here. So I tried to go for the Ice Punch and in most situations this is never a good play because I already knew this was going to be his Mega because like most people who run Salamence run the Mega var variation but um, Mega Salamence actually outspeeds and will 100% Oko Mega Medicham with Return so really me staying in was super risky now luckily here we did outspeed and knock it out with Ice Punch but you know that that is never a good move and um, it's only something I I realized it was a mistake after you know the turn ended but anyways it worked out there because we outsped him but you know I would never recommend that so anyways here is another time where you would want to switch out because um Jagapult does have I'm pretty sure has super effective stab with shadow ball and it also can just hit Medicham really hard whereas we've been intimidated so you know we won't be getting the same power output so anyways I go into Tyranitar here and he goes for a dragon darts which does a ton of damage and that's because this is a special defensive set that I'm running here in Tyranitar. It's not really my favorite. And I have tried to switch it out with um, Tangrowth. Although Data hasn't saved and the spawner is broken. So, you know, I have to adjust with what I have right now. So anyways, I go for Pursuit predicting the switch. Which was a good move. Although we take massive damage from the U-turn that, you know, he did on us. But, um, you know, that also works out because now we can get the Pursuit off and one-shot the Dragapult. And that, that is a scary thing about Tyranitar, you just have to be careful about because um, a lot of people they run a set called Choice Scarf Tyranitar and you just pursue trap basically any Psychic type or any Ghost type and they can't really hit Tyranitar back too hard unless they have Focus Blast. So you know it is really good at just dispatching any of those Pokemon. So anyways I, I decided to stay in because I didn't really think Tyranitar would be of much help at that low HP so you know. And in case he went for a fire move or tried to mix it up, perhaps we could live it. But he goes for a bug buzz and knocks us out, which is unfortunate. So um, here, I decide to go. I was well, I don't decide. I decided to go into Medicham, but I was thinking about Togekiss because you know um, we could also just get a status off and play it a bit more safe. Although you know I figured Medicham is probably just the easier and more convenient play. But the issue here is Flame Body. Once again, because every move that I make um, does increase my risk at getting burnt. But anyways, I decided to go for the fake out here. Um, really, honestly, I kind of just gone for a regular attack. But in case Medichan didn't outspeed, I didn't want to get off as much damage as possible. And that actually did turn out to be a good play because he goes for a Z move on this turn. And because I use fake out, I guess it just canceled out the Z move. I'm not really sure how that works, but you know, it is what it is. So, um, anyways, here I decide to go for the Zen Headbutt just to get off damage. And um, he tries to go for Roost, 
And I was surprised because we do actually one shot him with our Zen headbutt. But then at the same time, I don't think I should be surprised because Medicham, of course, is one of the hardest hitting Pokemon in the game. I think only behind Mega Mawile. Although the burn is a very unfortunate thing because, you know, it does it does kind of nerf down the power that Medicham has. But in most cases, it shouldn't be terrible because even, even a half power, Medicham is still a complete beast. So, and, you know, that's... And when I looked at his team, he did also have a pretty um, frail team when it comes to fighting Medicham, like Blaziken, Greninja, um, Salamence, like they all, they're all pretty weak to the moves that I have on Medicham right now. So anyways, I go for a Zen Headbutt, which is enough to one-shot the Blaziken. That's, you know, that's great. That kind of neutralizes the um, burn damage, and it's just a neutral hit. So if that was just a neutral Zen Headbutt, it would still one-shot the Blaziken. And this is his last Pokemon, the Greninja. So I decided to blast him with a high jump kick. The strongest move you can toss out with Medicham. And in my opinion, the most fun move to toss out. Because nothing other than ghost type Pokemon would like to ever switch into it. So he goes for an Ice Beam. And it does crazy damage. And that's because it's a Protean Greninja. And um, that doesn't help him though against my high jump kick. But um, unfortunately it has a Focus Sash. And we go down. Because you know. Um, the burn of course was going to be an inconvenience there so i just go into sizer and with bullet punch we can finish the game and also because he's part ice typing he's going to take super effective damage although that doesn't even matter since he's at one hp so really anything would be enough to ko him but you know i decided to you know just do it anyways and um i will say it was a it was a decent fight it, it was well fought and um yeah good game good battle and he wants the rematch so i look forward to that in the future